This is a medium difficulty question. I will classify the question as a GMAT 600 to 650 level DS question in number properties. A lot of logical deduction is what is needed to solve this question. Lovely question. How many of the numbers x, y and z are positive if each of these numbers is less than 10? x is less than 10, so is y, so is z. All of these numbers are less than 10. What do we mean by less than 10? It could be a 9.9, .9, could be a 3, could be a 0. These numbers can take values, could be negative, minus 8, minus 2.34, right? All of these possibilities exist for them, right? No number can be 10 or greater than 10. They need not be integers. So, these are all the things that we can glean from about these numbers at the question stem level. Take a look at the statements in a while. These are the five answer options which we know by now. How many of these numbers are positive? So, what all answers can we give? You can say, hey, all three are positive. Good. Two of them are positive, one is not positive, could be 0 or negative. Only one of these numbers is positive. None of these numbers is positive. All of them are zeros or all of them are negative or two negative, one zero. Some various combinations exist here. So, our answer is going to be one of these four numbers. We are going to say all three or two or one or zero. If you are able to come up with such a conclusive answer, then the data is sufficient. If you are able to come up with a unique value for the number of numbers that are positive, we cannot say, hey, it could be two of these or all three could be positive then that is not going to work. Take a look at statement 1. It says x plus y plus z is equal to 20. Now, juxtapose this information that each of these numbers is less than 10. x plus y plus z is equal to 20. We will just, we know all of them are less than 10, right. Let us max both x and y for a moment and see whether that can take us to a 20. This number is less than 10. This number is also less than 10 max them as in for want of something better let us say let both of these take a value 9.9 9.99 9 if you want go as close as possible cannot be a 10 if they had both been a 10 then the sum would be a 20 both of them are less than 10 which means the sum is going to be less than 20 we have maxed both x and y and still we could not reach a 20 we need some more number some more value to make good this 20 which means z is also positive x and y are at 9.9 .9 and 9.9, .9, which means they are obviously positive. They cannot be at 10. They, are, they can max at 9.9999 plus another 9.9999. That will essentially make this value to be equal to still a lesser than 20. We need some more positive component to make it at 20, which means that all x, y and z need to necessarily be positive numbers. All three should be positive if each of these numbers is less than 10 to make the sum to be equal to a 20. Right. So, this established statement 1 is sufficient. I am going to walk it you through another way. If this reasoning was not evident in the first go, how would we have gone about it? We would have evaluated for all three possible answers that we had. We said zero of these numbers should be positive, one should be positive, two should be positive, three should be positive. Can we get such scenarios is what we are looking at. Let us take a look at it. Let us see if all, we will start with the first scenario. None is positive. None is positive can essentially mean that these three numbers some of them are negative, all negative, some 0, all 0, all of those possibilities, right. So, any possibility look at it. If some of these numbers are negative, let us say all 3 are negative, some of 3 negative, 3 negative, not possible, some cannot be at 20, 2 negative and 1 0, that is another possibility, net result is going to be negative, will not be 20, 1 negative and 2 numbers are 0 you are going to get a negative sum which is definitely not 20. All three of them are zeros which is when none of the numbers is positive. When all three numbers are zeros, the sum is a zero which means that you are not going to get a 20. So, none is positive is ruled out, right. We have eliminated zero numbers being positive. Move on to the second possibility which is essentially one number is positive. One is positive. One of these three numbers is positive, right. Essentially means that what is one positive? These are all the possibilities. One number is positive. 1 positive, 1 negative and 1 0, this is a possibility. So, 1 positive, 1 negative, 1 number is 0, not 10, 1 number is 0, right. We know that this number is less than 10. So, this can at best be a 9.99, .9. this number is negative, even make it as a minus 0 0.1 and a 0, this sum cannot be equal to 20. So, that rules it out. We have one number which is positive, that is possible with 2 negative and none of the numbers being a 0. This can at best be a 9.99, .9, whatever it is. Two of these numbers are negative. So, it is going to take some more value from 9.99. .9. It is not going to add up to a 20. That is not possible. So, one number is positive. We have two zeros. One number is positive. That number has to be a number that is less than 10. 
a number less than 10 plus a couple of zeros will result in a less than 10 which is not equal to 20 so one of the numbers is positive is also not possible right zero positive is not possible one positive is not possible let's go with two positive that's a third option we'll say that that makes sense two numbers are positive positive numbers two so the number which is negative let's say is one zeros will have zero zeros right two numbers are positive the maximum sum that they can take to is a number less than 20 right that's established because both are less than 10 which means that one negative number is going to take some value out of it plus a zero the net result cannot be a 20 rule it out so two numbers are positive this there is no number that is negative there is one number that's a zero both the numbers that are positive are lesser than 10 which means the sum is going to be less than 20 add a zero to it it's still going to be less than 20 so 20 is not possible this is also ruled out all three numbers are positive that is what will make sense so the sum of the two numbers can at most be a number still less than 20 you need the third number also to be positive to make the sum to be equal to 20 so established through an alternative process evaluating for 0 1 2 and then saying only with 3 it works so all three numbers are positive is something that we can establish statement 1 alone is sufficient so answer option is going to be a or d take a look at statement 2 let's see whether that makes sense x plus y is equal to 14 you can analyze it a little more but simply said let us say some of these x or y is positive, you are able to establish it, you say all of them are both x and y are positive, x is positive, y is negative, both are zeros, anything you say, do you have information about z, right, in x and y you could get an answer even assuming you are getting a conclusive 0 or a conclusive 1 or a conclusive 2, do we know anything about z, z could be a positive number, in that case all of these will get incremented by 1 z need not turns out to be a not a positive number in that case these would be the answers we do not have a conclusive answer without knowing what z is so statement 2 alone is not sufficient 2 alone is not sufficient we were able to establish with statement 1 that we need all three of them to be positive statement 1 alone is sufficient 2 is not sufficient choice a is the answer to this question